This is a land known by two names. The first is Persia. From ancient traditions to modern marvels, Iran boasts peculiarities that defy conventional norms. Delve into a realm where history intertwines with innovation. Where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary, and where cultural eccentricities thrive in harmony with contemporary marvels. Let's explore 20 weird things that only exist in Iran. Number 20. Nashtafan Historical Windmills Located in the arid and windswept plains of northeastern Iran, approximately 30 miles from the Afghan border, Nashtafan windmills are the perfect example of ancient Persian engineering and enduring traditions. These vertical axis windmills, believed to be some of the oldest in the world, have been faithfully grinding flour for over a millennium now. The village of Nashtifan, nestled amidst harsh winds and rugged terrain, remains home to these remarkable structures. Along the southern perimeter of the village, a formidable 65-foot-tall earthen wall protects against the relentless gusts. Within this protective barrier, two dozen windmills stand functional despite the passage of time. Constructed from locally sourced materials such as clay, straw, and wood, these windmills showcase the ingenuity of ancient Persian craftsmanship. Their age, estimated to be around 1,000 years, reflects a bygone era when such structures were essential for milling grain into flour. The name Nashtafan, which translates to storm's sting, indicates the region's tempestuous weather. Throughout the turbulent winter months, when winds lash the landscape with ferocity, these mills come to life. The wooden blades, meticulously crafted by generations past, spin with remarkable velocity. Maintenance is a labor of love undertaken by dedicated caretakers, with no monetary compensation for their efforts, the locals commit to the task due to a deep-seated desire to preserve heritage in the face of modernization. Thanks to their unwavering dedication, these time-honored structures continue to stand tall, defying the passage of centuries. Moreover, the unique design of the Nashtifan windmills sets them apart from their European counterparts. Unlike the familiar horizontal axis windmills associated with the likes of Don Quixote, these Persian marvels operate on a vertical axis. This not only optimizes efficiency, but also eliminates the need for complex gear systems. The windmill's towering walls act as both support structures for the turbines and conduits for airflow. This ingenious arrangement channels the wind's energy with precision, ensuring optimal performance even in the harshest of conditions. Number 19. Margoon Waterfall Nestled in the picturesque landscapes of Fars province, the Margoon Waterfall is a natural wonder frequented by visitors seeking solace amidst the rugged beauty of the wilderness. Located near the eponymous village of Margoon, the waterfall cascades gracefully from a towering height of 70, 75 meters. What sets Margoon apart from other waterfalls is its unique source. Rather than being fed by rivers or streams, its waters originate directly from a chain of underground springs nestled within the heart of the mountain. Throughout the year, Margoon captivates onlookers with its ever-changing spectacle. In the winter months, when temperatures plummet and the landscape is cloaked in a blanket of snow, the waterfall transforms into a breathtaking tableau of ice and frost. The entire cascade freezes over, giving rise to a mesmerizing array of icicles. The river born from the waters of Margoon meanders through the surrounding forests, nourishing the land and sustaining a rich ecosystem teeming with life as the waters tumble and roar, carving their path through the rugged terrain. Number 18. Kasabe Khanat of Gonabad The Kasabe Khanat of Gonabad, nestled in the heart of Gonabad County, within the Khorasan Razavi province of Iran, is yet another example of the ingenuity and resilience of ancient Iranian civilization. This remarkable Khanat, comprising two main branches known as Kasabe and Dulab, is a marvel of hydraulic engineering that has endured for millennia. The Kasabe branch, spanning a length of 13 kilometers and adorned with 222 wells, intertwines with the broader Dulab branch, which extends for 29 kilometers and boasts 153 wells. These wells, varying in depth and design, channel groundwater from beneath the Earth's surface to sustain communities across the region. One of the most striking features of the Kasabe Kanat is its monumental mother well, 
plunging to around 300 meters. Within the labyrinths of the Kanat, a treasure trove of historical artifacts awaits discovery. Here, amidst the cool shadows of ancient stone, lie remnants of a bygone era, a rest house, a cloakroom, and a water reservoir dating back over 2,700 years. The complex of corridors evokes a sense of wonder and reverence among visitors. As they traverse the winding passages, illuminated by shafts of sunlight filtering through narrow crevices, they are transported back in time. At the heart of the Kanat lies its lifeblood, water. As visitors explore the depths of Kasabe Kanat, they encounter holes dotting the walls, once used to support torch lamps wielded by the Mokani or Kanat diggers as they toiled tirelessly to expand and maintain this vital lifeline. Number 17. Iran's Lilliput Land Did you know that Iran has its version of Lilliput? Makunik, affectionately known as the Land of Lilliputians, is a unique and enigmatic village in eastern Iran. Located in the Dore rural district of Sarbesha County within the South Khorasan province, Makunik has earned its place among the seven strangest villages in the world. Tourists pour in from all over the world to witness its dwarf residents and ancient-style architecture steeped in history and tradition. Established over 1,500 years ago, Makunik boasts a rich cultural heritage that reflects its Neolithic roots. The village's dwellings are constructed in a style reminiscent of ancient times. Built primarily for protection against the elements, these humble abodes feature low ceilings and tiny doorways. The residents have become the subject of countless legends and folklore. Descendants of Afghan migrants who settled in the region centuries ago, the villagers of Makunik have long been revered for their unique physical characteristics and distinctive way of life. The village's reputation as the land of Lilliputians stems from the diminutive stature of some of its inhabitants. While the majority of villagers enjoy normal heights, members of the Golam Muhammad Reza Baksh clan have historically been shorter in stature. However, intermarriage and improved nutrition have helped mitigate this over successive generations. Despite its reputation as a haven for tiny inhabitants, the reality of life in Makunik tells a different story. The village's compact dwellings were designed not for diminutive residents, but rather as a practical solution to the harsh realities of the region's climate. Due to scarce firewood and cold temperatures, villagers constructed small homes with tiny windows and low ceilings to conserve warmth and protect against the elements. Number 16. Women allowed to watch men's football after decades. This may not seem like a big deal for an outsider, but in 2023, after decades of exclusion, female football fans in Iran celebrated a small victory in their ongoing battle for equal access to stadiums. A photograph circulated on social media showed three women inside Tehran's Azadi Stadium for the City Derby between Persepolis and Esteglal. The campaign group Open Stadiums shared the image, emphasizing the significance of this step forward for women's rights activists. Up to 3,000 tickets were reportedly allocated for women, marking a notable shift in a country where women have long been barred from attending men's football matches. The progress was acknowledged by FIFA president Gianni Infantino, who highlighted his role in fostering dialogue with Iranian authorities. Infantino credited his meeting with Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi in September as instrumental in advancing the cause of women's football and promoting gender equality in stadium access. Number 15. Saraks Caravanserai Also known as robot e sharaf the Saraks Caravanserai is a marvel dating back to the Seljuk era. Nestled in the historic city of Saraks within the Razavi Khorasan province of Iran, this 12th century structure served as a vital waypoint along the ancient Silk Road, offering respite and refuge to weary travelers amidst their arduous journeys. Constructed under the patronage of the ruler of Marv, Saraks Caravanserai was meticulously designed to cater to the diverse needs of travelers. Comprising two main sections, each boasting a spacious courtyard, the caravanserai provided essential amenities such as lodging, storage facilities, and provisions for both travelers and their livestock. The outer courtyard is believed to have accommodated the general public, while the inner courtyard served as quarters for government officials. Guards' rooms encircle the first courtyard, offering protection and security to those within. Its exquisite architecture is characterized by intricate brickwork and ornate stucco adorning various sections of the structure. From the majestic Mirab to the grand entrance, the caravanserai is a masterpiece of Seljuk craftsmanship, adorned with intricate brick inscriptions and delicate motifs. 
Despite undergoing numerous renovations and restorations over the centuries, Sarak's caravanserai remains a beacon of Seljuk architectural excellence, showcasing the enduring legacy of brickworking in northeastern Iran. The presence of original inscriptions from this period further adds to the historical significance of the site, offering a glimpse into the cultural and artistic heritage of the region. Number 14. Morteza Ali Hot Springs The Morteza Ali Hot Spring geosite stands as a marvel of nature, captivating visitors with its unique geological features and therapeutic waters. Situated 29 kilometers east of Tabas City, this geosite offers a rare glimpse into the geological forces at work beneath the Earth's surface. Nestled amidst the limestone walls of Shah Abbasi Strait, these hot springs form a striking tableau of natural beauty. Emerging from cracks and fractures in the rock, these thermal springs create a series of cascading pools, with the largest outlet known locally as Morteza Ali Bath. What sets Morteza Ali apart from other hot spring sites is the distinct separation between hot and cold water streams. Despite flowing nearby, these streams remain unmixed for hundreds of meters due to differences in density and salt content. With maximum water temperatures reaching up to 37 degrees Celsius, the hot springs of Morteza Ali offer a soothing respite for weary travelers. Whether soaking in the warm, mineral-rich waters or marveling at the spectacle of contrasting temperatures, visitors are treated to an unforgettable experience that rejuvenates the body and soul. Adding to the allure of Morteza Ali is the abundance of algae and plant life flourishing in the vicinity of the springs. Against the backdrop of the desert landscape, this vibrant greenery accents the natural beauty of the region, creating a tranquil oasis amidst the arid terrain of Iran. Number 13. Persepolis, Apadana Relief The relief from the northern stairs of the Apadana at Persepolis depicts a king receiving an important official. Flanked by several figures on both sides, the relief offers insights into the intricate ceremonial practices and hierarchical structures of the Achaemenid Empire. Originally part of the northern stairs of the Apadana, this remarkable relief was removed from its original location. However, it was later discovered in the treasury by archaeologists excavating Persepolis. Another similar relief, once part of the eastern stairs, was also found. Central to the relief is the figure of the king, seated on a throne, often identified as Darius the Great. However, some academics suggest that it could represent Xerxes or embody the concept of monarchy itself. Behind the king stands an important figure, likely the crown prince, while an official, possibly Pharnaces, performs a special type of greeting called proskinesis. From the king's gesture of holding a pleasant-smelling flower, possibly a lotus symbolizing eternity, to the positioning of his feet, which do not touch the ground, Emphasizing his elevated status, symbolism abounds in the relief. The presence of the crown prince, with a flower pointing towards his father, underscores the theme of succession and dynastic continuity. Accompanying the central figures are other individuals, each with their roles and significance. From the announcement of tribute bearers to the presence of guards and soldiers, the relief offers a rich tapestry of Achaemenid society and its ceremonial practices. The relief has now been relocated to the National Archaeological Museum of Tehran. Number 12. The Entrance Gate to Paradise Also known as the Garden of Paradise, Aram Garden is a jewel in the crown of Persian beauty and tranquility. Its name, Aram, means heaven and evokes visions of celestial bliss, a sentiment reflected in its lush landscapes and captivating attractions. With its verdant grounds adorned with vibrant flowers, fragrant myrtles, and majestic cypress trees, including the legendary Sarvi Naz dating back millennia, Aram Garden beckons visitors to indulge in nature's splendor. It's no wonder that this idyllic haven is a favored destination, especially during the rejuvenating embrace of spring. Steeped in history, Aram Garden traces its origins to the Seljuk dynasty. Through the centuries it passed through the hands of monarchs and tribal chiefs, each leaving their mark on its landscape. The pavilion, a masterpiece of Safavid and Qajar architecture, stands as a testament to the garden's cultural significance. The architectural style of Aram Garden, with its symmetrical layout and serene water features, has influenced gardens far beyond Iran, leaving its imprint on landscapes from Andalusia to India. Today, as part of Shiraz Botanical Garden, it continues to enchant visitors as a historic landscape garden, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 11. Persian Miniature Art 
The Persian miniature is a delicate art form that flourished between the 13th and 16th centuries. Influenced by Chinese aesthetics due to Mongol invasions and embraced across Western Asia and the Indian subcontinent, it shares parallels with Byzantine and medieval European illuminated manuscripts. The essence of Persian miniatures is not in the depicted scenes, but in the ethereal ambiance they evoke. Central to this art form is the theme of the transfigured landscape, symbolizing both earthly paradise and celestial realms, visible only to the enlightened. Every element is crafted from precious materials, and each tree and flower is a unique marvel of divine creation. Among the celebrated examples of Persian miniatures is the Haft Arang, commissioned by Safavid Prince Ibrahim Mirza, a testament to the artistry and storytelling prowess of the era. Scenes like Barbad plays for Kusra and Majnun spies on Layla capture timeless tales of love, intrigue, and human emotion, much like the enduring narratives of Romeo and Juliet. Number 10. Kashmar Aliabad Tower. The Kashmar Aliabad Tower is a symbol of the region's rich history and architectural heritage. Also known as Gonbad A. Aliabad, this majestic tower is a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of its builders, captivating visitors with its imposing presence and intricate design. The Kashmar Aliabad Tower is believed to have been built as a funerary monument or a watchtower, although its exact purpose remains shrouded in mystery. Rising to a height of approximately 20 meters, the tower commands attention with its cylindrical form and imposing stature. One of the most striking features of the Kashmar Aliabad Tower is its architectural design, characterized by a harmonious blend of traditional Persian and Islamic influences. The exterior of the tower is adorned with intricate brickwork and geometric patterns, showcasing the skill and artistry of its craftsmen. As visitors approach the tower, they are greeted by elaborate motifs and ornamental details that speak to the sophistication of medieval Persian architecture. At the base of the tower, a grand entrance leads into the interior, where visitors are transported back in time to an era of opulence and grandeur. The inner chamber of the tower is spacious and airy, illuminated by shafts of sunlight filtering through narrow windows. Within these hallowed walls, echoes of the past linger, inviting visitors to contemplate the mysteries and stories that lie hidden within. As one explores the Kashmar Aliabad Tower, they are struck by the sense of reverence and awe that permeates the air. Whether marveling at the intricate brickwork that adorns its facade, or pondering the enigmatic purpose for which it was built, visitors cannot help but be captivated by the tower's timeless allure. Against the backdrop of Kashmar's lush countryside, the tower stands as a silent witness to centuries of history, inviting visitors to embark on a journey of discovery and exploration. Number 9. Rudkan Castle the Rudkin Castle stands proudly amidst the lush landscapes of Gilan province, beckoning adventurers and history enthusiasts alike to explore its storied past and breathtaking beauty. Located just 30 kilometers from the city of Fuman, this brick and stone fortress has earned renown as one of the best preserved fortifications in ancient Iran. Perched atop the peaks of a mountain, Rudkan Castle commands attention with its imposing presence and strategic location. Accessible only through a flight of hundreds of stairs, the castle has earned the moniker of the Thousand Step Castle. Yet, despite the arduous climb, the journey is rewarded with awe-inspiring vistas and a sense of wonder. Originally built during the Sasanian Empire to defend against southern Arab invaders, Rudkan Castle has undergone numerous renovations and reinforcements over the centuries. Despite the violence and upheaval that have marked its existence, the castle stands as a resilient symbol of strength and resilience. Hidden amidst the verdant jungles of northern Gilan, the castle spans an impressive 2.6 hectares and is fortified with strong battlements and towers. The Rudkin Castle boasts a water reservoir, 12 gates, a prison, and 42 watchtowers. The king's quarters, situated at the highest point of the castle, offer panoramic views of the surrounding landscape while the soldiers' quarters on the east side of the fortress brim with military prowess. To reach Rudkin Castle, visitors must navigate through dense forests and winding paths, a journey that can take anywhere from one to two hours. Along the way, small vendors offer refreshments and souvenirs, providing a welcome respite for weary travelers. The beauty of the jungle and the allure of the fortress itself make it a journey worth undertaking. Whether exploring the castle's ancient corridors or marveling at the natural splendor that surrounds it, 
visitors are treated to an unforgettable experience that transports them back in time to a bygone era of kings and conquests. With its lush surroundings and rich historical significance, the castle offers a glimpse into Iran's past while promising adventure and discovery for all who venture within its walls. Number 8. Bastani Sport The sports scene in Iran is perhaps just as vibrant as the local architecture, art, and culture. One example is the Bastani Sport, also known as Varzesh e Palavani. This sport reflects Iran's rich tradition of physical training and martial prowess. It evolved over 3,000 years to embody the moral, philosophical, and mystical values of Iranian civilization. Originally conceived as an academy for training warriors against foreign invaders, the sport has grown to encompass elements of Sufism, rituals of Mithraism, and the spirit of Iranian nationalism. Throughout history, Palavans, or sports heroes, have played a pivotal role in defending Iran against invaders, often rising in revolt to protect their homeland. Yet the term Palavan has been misappropriated over time, leading to misconceptions. Influenced by the advent of Western values and the policies of the Pahlavi regime in the early 20th century, Varzesh A. Palavani experienced a decline in popularity. However, legendary figures such as Palavan A. Bozorg and Haj Seyed Hassan Razaz continue to inspire reverence and admiration. Central to Varzesh A. Palavani is the practice of koshti, or wrestling, a hand-to-hand -hand combat that often determines the outcome of battles. During the Islamic period, the school of Palavani evolved into an academy of physical training, incorporating the philosophy and spirituality of Islam, particularly through the medium of Sufism. Some of the most renowned Palavans emerged between the 19th and 20th centuries. The peak of the sport coincided with the reign of Nasser Adin Shah, during which official Palavans were appointed annually in a competition held before the Shah. Despite its fluctuations in popularity and the challenges posed by modernization, Varzesh A. Palavani endures as a symbol of Iran's indomitable spirit and cultural heritage, reminding us of the valor and resilience of its people throughout history. Number 7. Unusual Calendars If you find yourself staring at a bunch of dates when in Iran, don't be surprised. In Iran, the calendar is more than just a tool for keeping track of dates. It's a reflection of the country's rich cultural heritage and unique astronomical observations. Opening up a calendar in Iran reveals three distinct sets of dates. The Iranian date, or the solar calendar, the Islamic date, or the lunar calendar, and the Gregorian date. The Iranian calendar, also known as the solar Hijri calendar, reflects Iran's long-standing tradition of astronomical knowledge and scientific advancement. Unlike the Gregorian calendar, which is widely used in the Western world and follows a solar system, and the Islamic calendar, which is lunar-based, the Iranian calendar is uniquely solar-based. This means that its timings and dates are determined by the Earth's position relative to the Sun. The calendar is divided into 12 months, each consisting of either 31 or 30 days. The first six months of the year are comprised of 31 days, while the remaining six months consist of 30 days. The New Year's Day falls on the first day of spring, known as Nowruz, a celebration deeply rooted in Iranian culture and tradition. Furthermore, the months of the Iranian calendar correspond with the changing seasons and the zodiac. What makes the Iranian calendar particularly noteworthy is its status as the only solar calendar used by an entire country. This reflects Iran's commitment to preserving its cultural identity and historical heritage, as well as its ongoing dedication to scientific inquiry and astronomical observation. Number 6. They've got a different weekend. Another peculiarity that you're bound to notice is that the Iranian work week follows a unique schedule. Official workdays span from Saturday to Wednesday for the majority of public and governmental offices. This diverges from the typical Monday to Friday work week observed in many other countries. In Iran, Thursday and Friday constitute the weekend. While most public and governmental offices adhere to this work week schedule, some establishments may operate on weekends, particularly on Thursdays and Fridays. Banks, for instance, typically open their doors to the public on Thursdays, operating from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. This allows individuals to conduct financial transactions and handle banking matters before the start of the weekend. In larger cities across Iran, shopping malls and department stores also adjust their operating hours 
to accommodate weekend shoppers. On Thursdays and Fridays, these establishments often extend their hours, remaining open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. This provides residents and visitors with ample opportunities to purchase goods and enjoy leisure activities. Number 5. Tokel Ski Resort Bet you didn't know that Iran has ski resorts? Well, it does. Situated north of Tehran, the Tokal Ski Resort offers a unique recreational experience in Iran's bustling capital. Established in the late 1970s, this multi-activity complex caters to a diverse range of interests, drawing in locals and visitors alike for a breath of fresh air and leisure pursuits. The centerpiece of Tokal is its impressive gondola, a marvel of engineering constructed by the renowned French company Poma. Spanning a distance of 7 kilometers and accommodating up to 6 passengers per cabin, this gondola transports guests to an elevation of 3,800 meters in just 30 minutes. Along the way, passengers are treated to sweeping panoramic views of Tehran. Upon reaching the ski area, visitors discover a winter wonderland boasting 100% natural snow. The resort features two well-groomed slopes accessible via two chairlifts and an additional unused ski lift. Those with local knowledge can find opportunities for exhilarating backcountry skiing, descending from Tokol's peak to neighboring ski resorts. In addition to skiing and snowboarding, Tokol offers an array of activities to suit all tastes, including hiking, summer sledding, zip lining, and coaster rides. Visitors can also indulge in culinary delights at the resort's restaurants or opt to stay overnight at the Tokol Hotel, conveniently located at an altitude of 3,500 meters. Number 4. The Screaming Forest Located near the village of Sarbaj in northeastern Iran, the Screaming Forest of Torkabe presents a spine-chilling mystery that both intrigues and terrifies visitors. Situated just 45 minutes away from the city of Mashhad, this forest is shrouded in tales of horror and unexplained phenomena. Legend has it that the forest emits eerie screams and wails during the night. Some locals attribute these terrifying sounds to goblins and demons lurking among the trees, while others believe the screams to be the anguished cries of tortured souls. According to one account, the noise resembles the agonizing screams of a woman burning alive in a fire. Despite these ominous tales, the truth behind the forest's eerie ambiance is far less sinister. The unsettling screams are the sounds of crickets, amplified by the stillness of the night and the dense foliage of the forest. During rainy years, these crickets swarm the area, seeking refuge in the trees and vegetation. Their chorus creates an atmosphere of dread and unease, leading some to believe in supernatural explanations for the phenomenon. These insects congregate in large numbers along the riverbanks, their collective chirping resembling the haunting screams described by frightened visitors. Despite efforts to dispel the myths surrounding the forest, its reputation as a place of mystery and terror persists, drawing both curious adventurers and wary spectators alike. Number 3. Traditional Persian Cat Also known as the Doll Face Persian, the traditional Persian cat holds a special place in the world of feline enthusiasts. Renowned for its luxurious long coat and distinctive appearance, this breed has a rich history and unique characteristics that set it apart. Persians were introduced to Europe in the 1500s, where they quickly gained popularity for their long, silky coats. European breeders were enamored by the Persians' elegant appearance and selectively bred them to maintain and enhance their desirable traits. Other long-haired breeds, such as the Angora from Turkey, also contributed to the Persians' development. By the Victorian era, Persians had become symbols of luxury and grace, often gracing the courts of royalty. They were highly coveted among the European elite and were among the first breeds to be officially registered and shown. The Persians' popularity continued to soar, leading to their export to the United States in the 1900s and subsequent global acclaim. The doll-faced Persian is renowned for its affectionate and gentle nature. It is the quintessential lap cat, craving human attention and companionship. Despite its regal appearance, this breed is known for its playful demeanor and adaptability to various living environments, including apartments. Generally quiet and placid, the doll-faced Persian makes for an ideal companion for those seeking a loyal and loving feline friend. Number 2. More Women in the University 
While women in Iran encounter significant obstacles to education and various restrictions on their freedom, things are changing. Despite challenges, there has been a notable increase in women's literacy rates and enrollment in higher education over the years. Currently, approximately 65% of university students in Iran are women. However, despite the growing number of women pursuing higher education, the government imposes restrictions on their choices and opportunities. Women are prohibited from enrolling in more than 70 subjects deemed unsuitable by the authorities. Additionally, the government encourages women to attend local universities closer to their homes, which are often more conservative and offer limited academic opportunities compared to the more secular universities located in urban centers. Despite the progress made in increasing women's enrollment in universities, gender inequality and discrimination persist in Iran's educational system. Efforts to address these barriers and promote gender equality in education remain ongoing challenges for women in Iran. Number 1. Nose Jobs You probably did not see this coming, but it's no exaggeration. Iran boasts the highest rate of nose surgery in the world per capita, making it a global leader in cosmetic procedures. While the pursuit of the perfect nose is undoubtedly influenced by cultural factors, the desire for nasal refinement extends beyond mere physical beauty. For many Persian women and some men, undergoing a nose job is not just about enhancing their appearance, but also serves as a symbol of wealth and social status. The procedure is highly coveted, and patients often opt to keep their bandages on long after they've fully recovered as a visible marker of having undergone the surgery. In some cases, people even wear fake bandages to feign having had the procedure done, further underscoring the societal significance attached to nasal aesthetics in Iran. So yeah, Iran is the land of nose jobs too, among other things. Well, that's all for now. If you loved this video, be sure to check out this other one on your screen. It will blow your mind.